A government charter flight brought back a number of South Koreans and their relatives from Iran. It's the first time Seoul carried out such an evacuation due to the COVID-19 situation in that country. Hong Yu has the full story. A total of 80 people, including South Koreans and their relatives, arrived at Incheon International Airport on Thursday on a chartered plane. We requested this return because the situation in Iran is getting worse and we felt the coronavirus is being managed in South Korea. We are grateful that our government put their efforts in bringing us home safe and comfortable. All four flights that we have booked to South Korea have been cancelled. But thanks to this flight, we are now away from Iran where the virus is spreading badly. Although South Korea has previously evacuated its nationals living in Wuhan, China, where the virus first broke out, and from the Japanese cruise ship the Diamond Princess, this was the first time that it's decided to bring back its nationals from a whole country. The South Koreans coming from Iran will be staying at the Koika Training Center in Gyeonggi-do province for one or two days to get tested for the virus. Even if they test negative, they will have to self-quarantine for two weeks. Thursday was also the first day that all travelers entering South Korea from abroad had to undergo special entry procedures aimed at stemming the spread of the coronavirus. Previously, the measures were only applied to those arriving from China, Japan, Iran and European countries. But as the number of confirmed cases and people showing symptoms has increased among recent arrivals, the screening is being applied to all overseas arrivals. The procedure includes filling out a health questionnaire and providing contact and accommodation information in South Korea. Entrants will also go through body temperature checks. They must also download a self-diagnosis smartphone application and use it to report their health conditions every day for two weeks. Overseas travelers without a smartphone are contacted and monitored by the health authorities' call centers. Hong Yu, Arirang News.